What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be briefly talking about my strategy for the next stock market crash. And for those of you guys that don't know, a stock market crash occurs between every 5 to 10 years. And the last one that we've had was in 2008, which is almost 11 years ago from right now, now that we're heading into 2019. So am I saying we're going to have a stock market crash this this year or next year. I'm not saying that because no one can truly predict this. All I'm saying is that we could potentially have one in the next couple of years due to us being at that, you know, at that edge, at that tipping point towards where we would, you know, historically have a recession, a stock market crash. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what my strategy is when this does occur, because it's going to occur. We're going to have a stock market crash, a recession, a global meltdown potentially in the next couple of years. And, you know, getting into this, you have to be prepared going into this because if you're prepared going into it, that is how you're going to make money on the back end. Because obviously, guys, during a crash, stocks are going to be crazily in da down, undervalued in price. People are going to be scared, and that's going to be a very good buying opportunity for the believers of the U.S. stock market, the global stock market, whatever markets you guys are, you know, planning on buying in during a recession around the world. So, you know, pretty much guys, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while now, I play both ends of the spectrum, meaning that I'm a long-term investor. I believe in businesses long-term. I like putting my money into undervalued companies, reaping the benefits from them, whether that be from their cash flows, their very strong business model, the dividends that they provide for me. And I'm also a short-term trader that swing trades and day trades inverse ETFs, leveraged ETFs, market ETFs, and stocks that I really like the patterns of, short-term news potentially, earnings plays, and stuff like that. So both ends of the spectrum, guys, meaning that you know I'm benefiting in the long term and in the short term. So what my strategy is going into this next stock market crash, again, we don't know when it's going to be, but I'm preparing myself right now, is pretty much to do what I've been doing and and play put options against the market meaning that put options are a contract that a you know a stock an ETF an index is going to be at a certain price by a certain time and a put option is me betting against the stock market let's say you know apple is at $200 right now in price and we're going to be going into recession and i think apple is going to be $150 in the next 6 months i would put a put option against apple which would be a strike price around $150 and me thinking that i'm betting against apple to go down in price due to us being in a bull a bear market right and i'd take those profits from that apple put option and i would then buy apple stock at the bottom right if you guys don't understand what i'm saying here pretty much put options are a great way to hedge against your positions meaning that <clears throat> you pretty much won't be losing money when that stock when that index when that etf is in a bear market as it's falling down in price because you're making money on the option and then that money you make on the option contracts however many you guys buy whatever you guys do with that you can take that money and then buy in the shares at a lower price you can then buy apple at 150 dollars with that profit that you pretty much gained from your put option and i haven't really been into options for a long time now i've been dabbling with them behind the scenes because i want to get familiar with this and i really advise a bunch of you guys out there to get familiar with options as well heading into the next crash because i want to be able to do this i want to be able to make money on my put options and then buy in the stocks buy more shares at a better price at a lower valuation so then when the next bull market hits <clears throat> I'm making a ton of money on those shares that I bought in at a very low price with and I'm making dividends on those shares as well taking account compound interest and all of that loveliness that we love in the stock market so 
Pretty much, guys, the number one thing I'm going to be doing is playing put options, and then I'm also going to be doing what I've been doing, which is trading the market ETFs, which are very volatile, like TVIX, TQQQ, and a bunch of these other inverse ETFs that we do play that don't really rely on the market strictly going up in price for us to be able to make money on them because that's a very important thing guys we can make money with the markets going up we can make money with the markets going down so i'm going to continue to keep trading and trading and taking those profits that i'm making from trading and then funneling them into my long-term positions and my dividend accounts for the compound interest effect as well as just buying more stock of undervalued companies at better prices for the long term term because this is what I'm all about guys I'm all about playing both side of the spectrum making money short term with put options with the market ETFs taking that money putting them in at stocks and companies that are at undervalued for the long term right and I'm sure a bunch of other people out there do have a very similar strategy to this please drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about the strategy are you guys doing something similar to this I would love to know so I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick little brief update video on what I plan to do the next time the stock market crash because it's going to crash we do not know when it's going to crash but all I know for a fact is that it's going to crash within the next couple of years but you know being prepared for it having as much cash as possible laid aside right in your brokerage account and your portfolio is going to help you guys if you are believers in the american economy in u.s business and in the global economy in the long term because there's a bunch of up-and-coming players like china australia is looking good if we're looking at global economies here you know africa is one that's very very long term in my personal opinion as well and you know having cash set aside from put options from you know market ETFs that you're trading or any other ways that you're making money whether it be your job your side hustle you know your business whatever it may be <clears throat> having cash set aside for the market crash is going to help you in a very big way so I'll catch you guys in the next video I hope you enjoyed it have a great weekend peace out